Welcome to online learning. Today we learn a new chapter that is governing ourselves and today's topic is central government. Dear students, when we play certain sports, we select our captain. Take for example, cricket, football or hockey. In your class also, to maintain discipline, class monitors are appointed. In your family, mothers or father has the family. He or she frames the rules and regulations in your family and is the head of the family. But when it comes to big areas like our states or country, the leaders have to take the decision carefully. But how are these leaders at state or country level are selected? Let us learn about this. Let us know how do we govern ourselves. India is divided into 29 states and 7 union territories. The constitution of India provides for a government at the center and one in each state. This has been done to govern the country properly. So what is this constitution? The constitution of India is a set of rules and regulations guiding the administration of our country. So when was it framed and adopted? The constitution of India was drafted by the Constituent Assembly. It was adopted on 26 November 1949. And came into force on 26 January 1950. We celebrate this day as our Republic Day. Let us learn about the government at the center, which is also known as the Union Government. The parliament of our country is the supreme lawmaking body in our country and it constitutes the President, the Rajya Sabha, and the Lok Sabha. Like that, at the state level, Legislative Assembly and the Legislative Council are the lawmaking bodies. The powers of the central and state governments have been clearly written down in the Constitution. For example, defending the country is the responsibility of the central government while maintaining laws and order within a state is the duty of the state government. The central government helps the state governments whenever the need arises. During the flood, during the drought, and during any natural calamities or natural disaster, that time the central government helps the state government. The central government helps the state government. Central government. The central government or the union government makes law for the whole country. This lawmaking body is known as the parliament. It consists of the president of India and the two houses, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Here you can see Parliament, the President, the Lok Sabha, and the Rajya Sabha. Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha is the highest lawmaking body in the country. It is also known as the House of the People or the Lower House. Its members are elected directly by the people. The speaker guides the proceedings in the Lok Sabha. He or she is elected by the members of the house. If you could remember 
in 2019 there was general election your parents voted the candidate of their choice the members of the lok sabha are elected for a term of 5 years any indian citizen who is 18 years of age or above can vote in the general election the whole country is divided into a number of small areas called constituencies the person who gets the highest number of votes in the election is elected as a member of parliament or mp from that constituency the lok sabha can have a maximum of 552 members here you can see the areas inside the green boundaries are the mp constituencies and who is the mp from bilaspur yes you are correct sri arun sau is the mp from bilaspur rajya sabha the rajya sabha is the upper house of the parliament its members are not elected directly by the people members of the state legislative assemblies and union territories elect them there can be a maximum of 250 members in the rajya sabha of this 238 are elected members and 12 are nominated by the president of india the members of the rajya sabha are elected for a term of 6 years one third of its members retire every 2 years they are replaced by new members the vice president of india is the chairman of the rajya sabha so who is the vice president of india the president the president of india is the head of the country the members of the lok sabha and the state legislative assemblies elect the president the president is elected for a term of 5 years now to this homework into how many states and union territories india is divided which government makes the law for the whole country what is the supreme law making body in our country known as what constitutes the parliament of india what can be the maximum number of member in the lok sabha what can be the maximum number of member in the rajya sabha and who is the head of the country i hope you like to discuss in our next class we'll be learning about formation of the government state government and the judiciary thank you thank you very much